Welcome to another episode of Middle School Robotics. I am doing a project that I started last year, but I've never actually made a vlog on it. It is called the Avoid the Bots Project. It's basically the idea of creating almost a self-driving car that doesn't run into anything else. Students are gonna be running their robots on an arena, and the last bot standing that doesn't have a head-on collision with any of the other robots will win that round. Some of them came in during their lunch period and are trying to get their last-minute fixes and adjustments so that it's a success. So typically, See students right. will build something like this, where they have a color My sensor up front sensor. and an ultrasonic sensor that says if it gets See, too it, close, where it's it'll back up. And then if it sees no color, it'll also back up. That's kind of a traditional build that most people will do. But some students are doing a little bit more exotic builds and trying to do something different uh, than the traditional course of action as far as programming it. So here, what do you call this, Teddy? Uh, I call it the special child. <laughs> okay, here's a special child, almost like a wheelbarrow, I guess. Yeah. So we'll see how that. Look like this. Okay, so you built most of it through improvisation, though. Yeah, this, this whole like wheelbarrow part right here was mostly impro improvisation. Yeah. Well, that's also from a different kit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, other one that's a little bit different. Well, explain what you want to do, Ashton. Uh, instead of going to a bot and then once it detects it, turning around and going the other way, I wanted it to detect the bot, turn around, and then attack the bot. Because you're not out if you get hit from behind. You're only out right. if you get hit from the front. And then I wanted to go backwards until it pushes it off the table. This right here will detect that and then it will go forward. But the problem I was facing was that the color sensor would not work. So if the, the bot moved, it'd continue going backwards and then it'd fall off. So it was hard to say like, wait until this is released and also look for the color sensor at the same time, even when we use a switch. If it's about to fall off the table, it'll sense that there's no color and then back up like this. But what I was running into was that it would be like going forward and then just go like that. Like if it's at an angle. Um, or if this end goes off yeah. first, like that. Oh. But I think I've tried, made it sensitive enough to where it doesn't do that anymore. So when I put it down, this button is being pushed in. All right. Which, so whenever it is released, because it would be moving off the table, as you can see, Okay. It released. I want it to go. F I see what I did wrong, actually. But what did uh, you see? so I had it at negative speed, so it would just keep going when it went off the table. So now I just have to change it to the. Um, so it goes in no! that direction. It goes in that direction. They, All right. Then they're out. All right. So explain why it's doing this. It's because it is stuck in a loop right here. So it is also not being pressed, so it's going backwards. So it's just going back and forth between those two. Yeah. So what can we do to try to fix that? Uh, we could put a another loop in, and then we can do a loop interrupt to stop that loop. So that way it would transaction through both without spazzing out. Okay. Decided what? to move this because move I don't what? think I don't think any robot's gonna really be able to reach all the way up here. Did I mean, it make it will. a sound when you did it? Yeah, it did. Uh, so our first group, we've got round one. And everyone stand around. When you stand around, just be ready to catch it. This is Brenda, but her friends call her shirt eater. This is defective. It's defective. <laughs> this is Jonathan. He'll eat your soul. Well, you have to be moving at least the speed of 20 the whole time. Wait. You can't just stay still. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, man. Who's hit? All right. Front of your robot, the front of your wheels count as the front of your oh, robot. Sorry. Max is out. Oh, so wait, then I pause mine. Wait, then I win? Then you win. Yes! yes. It's called um, the, the dead. long one. The what? The dead. It's <laughs> Xander, I guess. Xander? All right, Xander, I guess, is the name. Fun name. Go. Oh, yeah, go. <laughs> Harlan, if your does, yours doesn't move in 10 seconds, you will be out. Oh, Zach wins by default. Second wife. I was also gonna name him unnamed, but Zachary stole that name, so I'm gonna rename. I'm gonna name him unnamed.pdf. Well, this is Llama King Bot. Just not big. Go. <laughs> Fortnite. Oh. <laughs> you lost. 
Cool. Okay, good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm going for the win. Uh, Vibrady boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alternative name. <laughs> Either that or gyrations. <laughs> Chungles. No so bomba in the house over here. Let's go. So unless you leave this area okay, soon. Share to your video. I am defective. Unnamed. Llama King bot. Gyration Nation. Gyration Nation. It went from station to nation. <laughs> Go. Oh God. What is your no, he was oh! oh no, Gyration Station's out. You <laughs> gyrated too much. <laughs> oh, one of the wheels that out. Was it. And that one's out. Yeah. So who's out? Charlie is our winner. It's defective, <laughs> but he wasn't defective. <laughs> Final battle royale doesn't count for any points. Bottle royale. Yeah, Teddy Boy. Teddy Boy made the PDF Rain Supreme. Who, is, break this. <laughs> who's got a thumbnail idea? No. Okay. Oh I think God. I got the thumbnail. We're good to go. Yes. <laughs> so the way they're going to be assessed is going to be on their build. Was stuff falling off their robot, or was it a pretty stable build? Was it improvised, or did they use instructions? They're going to be assessed on their program and how streamlined and clean and easy it is to read. A small fraction of their grade is how they place in the competition. Last place is only five points behind first place out of all of it, just to add a little bit of a competitive flair to it. Right now, they're taking pictures of their robots as well as screenshots of their code, and they're going to turn that in, and that's what I'll assess. And I'll take a photo of the results that I wrote up on the board as well. I liked it a lot. I was disappointed that my bot got out like really early, but and I learned how to be able to put sound and text on the screen. Cons, my bot kind of started like falling apart a little. Eventually, it just didn't really move. So that's kind of how I lost the challenge. I don't like my robot at all. How come? This part didn't work. Which one is that? Oh, the color the sensor? Color sensor. Because it kept rolling off the table. Mm. Did your ultrasonic sensor work? Yeah. Good. It was a really great way to learn about how all the sensors work. Uh, I liked the project. I actually got farther than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to be out in like four seconds, but somehow I managed to win once. <laughs> so, see, I really liked the competitive aspect of it because that was very motivational for me, even though I lost pretty sorely. It taught me so many things, like just little things that I, like, it's hard to teach. Like, you just have to kind of figure it out. All right. Pleasure seeing you all. Please push your chairs in. I hope you learned something today, and I will see you next week. So I'll go ahead and link in the description the ways that I, the videos that I use to support the students. I ended up just giving them a big list of, here's a video on the ultrasonic sensor, here's a video on how to run multiple sensors at one time, and then they use those at their own pace as they figured it out. I'll also leave the rubric with everything I graded them on in the description as well. Let me know if you've tried something like this. Let me know if you have any suggestions for a project like this. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Tom Gibson. I hope you learned something today, and I will see you in the next video.